Hey, everybody, what's up? Yes, uh, there hasn't been an episode in quite a while. I am aware of that. I know. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Uh, however, I am able to record one today on my way to the doctor's office. I'm going to uh, see what he can do about this thing right up there in my head. Uh, for, the, for hopefully the last time. See, these type of dumb are just now showing up everywhere. Can't help have the feeling that there's some type of event happening. But anyways, yeah, I'm going to the doctor. No worry, I do have my face mask. So I'm not with. I'm not wearing my face mask right now because I'm outdoors in an open place with lots of fresh air. So technically speaking, I don't need to. I only need to wear those masks indoors. So uh, I'll be wearing the mask when I go, go to the doctor. But uh, yeah, so there's a couple of things I want to do today. Obviously, the first and most important one is go to the doctor, but. Another one, not quite as important, but still something on my to-do list that I'm hoping I'll have the time to do. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I've been doing, the, I've been streaming on Twitch lately, uh, where I've been playing uh, the Lego Harry Potter games, replaying them, I should say, because I haven't played them in years. Obviously, to study for. Uh, a trivia match that I've got coming up, a Harry Potter trivia match, I should, I should say. And uh, while playing them, I've also been building Lego sets that are kind of relevant to the movies. I've, well, one Lego set, as a matter of fact, right now. I've built a stand with Hedwig who kind of flaps her wings around. And uh, yeah, that took me four different streams uh, to build that. But uh, I finished it in the end on Sunday, I think. Now, see, here's where things kind of get a little bit complicated. I have another Lego set to build, which is actually from Order of the Phoenix. And it's where, when uh, Harry and Hermione go into the dark forest with Dolores Umbridge to kind of lure her into a trap, which is where Grop is, and obviously that's where the centaurs take her and all that. The, the glorious moment when she finally gets what's coming to her. In that movie, anyways. Well, that book. But, uh, yeah, like I said, it's from Order of the Phoenix which was from year five of Hogwarts. Right now I'm playing through the Lego Harry Potter games years one through four. And I just finished the Philosopher's Stone part of the game. And uh, I'm gonna start uh, the Chamber of Secrets. Now obviously Hedwig made a ton of sense for the Philosopher's Stone, but sorry to say, but that scene from Order of the Phoenix, great scene, but probably wouldn't make much sense uh, for uh, for that. So I'm gonna have to find something else to do, and that's exactly what I wanted to uh, to do today. The other thing. Why aren't there no Pokemon in this area? The other thing I wanted to do today was uh, go to, to a toy shop and hopefully, if it's still there, pick up uh, Hagrid's Hut, which is definitely a build that can fit into any game, any of the Harry Potter movies or books, because Hagrid is in all the books. Not necessarily all the movies though, I don't think he's in Deathly Hallows Part 1, but yeah, Hagrid is such an important character in the Harry Potter mythos, so uh, 
that's the next one I'm going to be building on camera. Hopefully, if I if this doctor's appointment go, uh, ends pretty early, hopefully I'll have enough time to make a, ra a, ra a round trip to uh, to the toy shop and then back. Because remember, I still have to. Uh, hold on. I still have to be. I still have to go to work today. So uh, but hopefully, get through this doctor's appointment. Hopefully. Well, it will be short and not quite as painful as it has been the last couple the last couple of times I've been there and uh, um, I'll have enough time to go to the toy shop which I know exactly where it is it's on the other side of the city but if I can go there and make a return trip on time back to um, uh, the central station I can be there just in time uh, for the uh, the carpool to pick me up for work so yeah that's my plan for today hopefully I'll get to execute it now to more Pokemon related news it seems as though there's this new event happening. I've been seeing the uh, um, the nearby Pokemon display down at the bottom of the screen. That there's the surprise, surprise, another event Pikachu. And for some reason, it's the uh, it's the Pikachu with balloons again. I don't get it. Why are they bringing that back? And more importantly. Why does this thing say that I haven't caught it yet? Because I'm pretty sure I did. Right now I'm just uh, keeping with these dull markers. Because, you know, they are fire types and they get weather boosted in the sun, so more stardust for me. But. I don't really understand what this whole deal with the event Pikachu is. Let me just very quickly click on this. Oh, look at that. Oop, I guess I missed the day. That sucks. But at least I didn't miss it again. I don't know. Uh, hold on, I can barely see anything, so let's stand over here in the shade. Let's see if there's anything to read. First of all, uh, priorities. Oh, well, I guess I can't put a Pokemon in here. That's sad for me. Let's see if I can put a Pokemon here. Oh, well, what do you know? There is actually some space. Which one, though? Definitely not, not any of the A-listers. It's all Lapras. Because there's not a lot of water and ice type uh, coverage here. Um, fifth anniversary. Oh, right. That's right. It's... You know, the fifth anniversary of Pokemon Go is coming up. Uh, also, GoFest is coming up pretty soon. So basically, you need to catch all of the starters plus this new Balloon Pikachu. Uh, and you have nine days to do it. I really want to do it, though. For the rare candies. It's always great to have more of these. But you want to know something funny? I still haven't completed the Kanto Tour event, so I'm just gonna, you know, clear it right now, just, you know, so I have something to do. Maybe it's gonna give me one of the starters, hopefully, let's see, hold on, hold on, Cubone Candy, I'm pretty sure it's gonna give me a Cubone then, a Snorlax, okay, not a bad Pokemon to catch, but, um, not any of the ones I needed for the collection mission. 
And of course, it's going to be difficult because it's a Snorlax, but oops, no idea where that Ultra Ball went. But on the, on the plus side, it, at least it's very easy to make excellent throws on it. Okay, here's a, a regular Pikachu, not a balloon Pikachu. Oh, uh, no idea. I, I thought I thought all Pikachu's right now would have been the these balloon variants. I guess not. See, here's, the, here's another good question: Do I go to the doctor first before eating something, or do I eat first? Because I kind of need to take my medicine. Hmm. Huh. You know what? Maybe. Just. I know. I know the doctor's gonna squeeze the hell out of my head. So maybe it's a better idea to just uh, wait for him to do that, and then uh, and then eat something and take my antibiotics. Because remember, I still wanna. Get to that other place, which is on the other side of the city. So, want to do that, and I probably should hurry up. Okay, Fennekin, our first starter. Hopefully, we can catch it though. Someone's taking a picture. Hold on. There we go. Now you can move along. Stupid fox. Stay in the ball. Well, and it ran away. Dang it, of course, of course. <sighs> Just when you really need a Pokemon to get captured for a mission, they ran away from you. It's so annoying. Okay, let's, uh, let's read what the professor has to say about the, uh, the Kanto event. I'm sure I had a stash of pineapple berries here somewhere. Oh, welcome back. Uh... Guess my snack will have to wait. I love pineapple berries. Uh, I've been checking up on your progress, and I have to say, I'm very impressed. It seems there's no challenge you can't overcome. As I'm sure you know, a well a well rounded trainer needs to have a great team of Pokemon to battle against other trainers or even challenge Pokemon in raid. I think this is a great time to power up some, some of your Pokemon and bolster your team. While you focus on that, I'll be looking into an interesting rumor I caught wind of. There have been reports of, un of encounters with, with a Pokemon that's able to transform into another Pokemon entirely. Fascinating stuff! I mean, ditto? I'll be sure to share whatever I find when you return. Okay, so it's either ditto, Mew, or Zoroark. Oh, or Zoro. Zorowa, uh, kind of. Battle in three raids, power Pokemon five times, and evolve a Pokemon. Easy schmeasy. Really no point in doing it now. So, because there's a new event. And also, I almost hit the doctor's office. So, uh, should probably concentrate on the more important things like getting this thing out of my head finally. And, uh, to the toy shop, obviously. Okay, getting myself an early birthday present in the form of uh, Hagrid's hut in Lego form to hopefully build um, while, while streaming on Twitch. So yeah, here's the doctor's office. I'll uh, talk to you guys when I come out of it. See you then. Okay, so a little bit of good news, a little bit of bad news. Let's start with the Pikachu first, because why not? Oh, so that's it. Because I did remember catching one of those balloon Pikachus when they were all the rage, as they say. This one has a balloon shaped like the number five. Okay, so that makes it unique. Fine. But... 
Uh, as far as the doctor goes, yeah, the good news, it was uh, really, really quick and almost painless. Oh, bad news is, it's not fully healed yet. So, uh, what the doctor told me to do was to keep uh, putting the ointment he gave me on it and come back on Sunday to hopefully get this thing out completely. Okay, I can do that. Unfortunate part about it, and uh, which leads me to more bad news. I kind of forgot the ointment at home. Or I didn't think I was going to need it, or whatever. Something of the sort. So, yeah, right now I don't have the ointment on. The wound is still open, I'm still bleeding from it. Which is why I put this band-aid on. To stop the bleeding, for now. Until I can... Was that an Agron just now? Really? Seriously? Now I... There it is! A freaking Agron! 2000 CP. Just randomly standing there. Much like Snow Lux, it is very easy to make an excellent throw on it. However, much like Snow Lux, ain't that easy to get it to stay in the ball. But, um, now I need to go back home and, uh, collect the ointment, put it on, and then put another band-aid on. I'm not putting this one back on because this one already is already stained with my, uh, with my blood, so can't really put it back on. For the, here's the really fortunate part. I don't know if it was planned or not, but the doctor actually gave me one extra band-aid. Hmm. I just think about a Pokemon here. So I can take off the bandit I have right now. Put the ointment on and then put another one. It should be easy. Because it kind of needs to be with the band-aid, with the ointment still on it, all day. Which, hold on, was that another Finnegan? Looks like it. Nope, it's a parallel. Yeah, I'll catch it, why not? And it's weather boosted, so it, it helps. It really helps my cause. But, um... Well, never mind. I need to, to keep the ointment on. All day, so... What I'm going to need to do these next couple of days is... Um... Hold on, am I bleeding? I, I feel like something's dripping down my forehead. I really hope I'm not bleeding on camera. But... I need to do is get back home and pick up uh, the uh, the ointment, which really kind of sucks. I guess I should have brought it with me. I don't know what I was thinking, leaving it there, but whatever. Gotta get back home, get it, and. Uh, put it on obviously and then go to the store I still have a little bit under two hours 
to make it. I think I can make it in two hours. And it's, remember, it's not just a, a, round, a round trip. Going there and, go, and coming back. It's also, I need to uh, get something to eat. Because uh, I needed to uh, drink the antibiotics. Which, come to think of it, doctor probably should have given me a prescription for more. Huh. That's uh, a bit unfortunate. I guess I could go down to the pharmacy. Uh, at the shopping center where the toy store is located. To pick up some more of the... Uh, Antibiotics, and it's a very special one too because uh, kind of allergic to penicillin. So they're giving me a special t type of an antibiotic, which has no penicillin in it. The drawback to that is that it's a much stronger dosage. So there's that. Up oh, there's a mudkip. Is Mudkip going to be our first starter? Other than the Balloon Pikachu, of course. There we go. Mudkip. One of my least favorite starters, as a matter of fact, but whatever. At least I caught it. Anyways. I think I... Uh, think that about wraps it up. For this episode. Um, I don't know how much else to talk about, so, uh, yeah, I gotta go back to, uh, my, my apartment, pick up the, uh, the ointment, and, uh, go the, to the toy store. Now, uh, here's the fortunate thing about going back home, is... There's a bus right outside my apartment that goes all the way to the, uh, in a, a one-way trip, all the way to the, uh, the shopping center where, uh, the toy store and the pharmacy happen to be in, so, it's great. I don't have to take two buses. Another mudkip. A lot of mudkips now. Yeah, I don't have to take two buses. One to the central station, one to the, uh, the toy store. And uh, on my way back, again, I only need to take one one bus to the central station uh, for uh, the bus to work, which I don't have to pay for, thankfully. Not anymore. Anyways, um, this has been me going to the doctor. And uh, for me, an episode. Now, like I said earlier, or just started saying, and then I got sidetracked. What I need to do in the last couple of days is wake up relatively early in the morning, take a shower. I'm gonna take a shower in the morning instead of uh, right before I'm going to sleep, which is what I usually do. Snivy, okay, Snivy. Snivy's a starter. One of my favorites, as a matter of fact. But I need to wake up early in the morning. Take a shower, put the ointment on, and then put the band-aid on. I need to stay with the uh, ointment thing for around, somewhere around 24 hours. Let's catch another one of these Pikachu, but why not? But yeah, hopefully I can stick to that schedule for the next couple of days. At least until Sunday. Anyways, um... That's really it for today. I don't really have much else to talk about. I mean, we did do kind of a lot with this new uh, collections event. Leading up to um, Go Fest 2021. We've got a little bit of progress on the Kanto, the Tour Kanto event, which I can't believe I still haven't finished. 
and uh, we caught a new Pikachu. So there's still there's plenty of content for this episode. So uh, I can just go to the toy store. Uh, not really. Another summer. Yeah, now I can go to uh, the toy store. Uh, knowing that I've filmed an episode for today. Yippee! Anyways, thank you for watching. See you hopefully tomorrow. Goodbye. Hello again, everybody! I really hope you enjoyed this video, because I really enjoyed making it. So, if you like what you've seen here, please remember to like, share, Comment and subscribe for more awesome content like this. So until next time guys, I'll see you guys next time.